Despite an increase in new COVID cases here in Maryland, Baltimore City Public Schools are preparing to expand their in-person learning. We have WMH News Aaron McPherson live at City School headquarters on North Avenue with more on what they're planning to do. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Christian and Ashley. While the Baltimore City School District held a virtual town hall last night so they could give parents an opportunity to ask questions and also give them a live look at the layout of the classrooms. Now, in that classroom, they have desks six feet apart to proper to practice proper social distancing as well as protective barriers on those desks. The plan is to have about six or seven students in each classroom and all of the students are required to wear a mask and that was something that was addressed in that town hall. What do you do if the kids won't wear a mask? And they said it's really about leading by example and having those parents talk to those students as well. Now each of those classrooms will be sanitized regularly. They've also added air purifiers in the schools to help filter the air. Now 44 locations will be opening this month for students to start their in person small group learning in the city. The Baltimore City School CEO is confident they're taking the proper precautions to keep Keep all students and staff safe, but stress they won't hesitate to make changes to their plan if need be. We're watching um, the city's measures um, and we're watching our own numbers to make sure um, that if, you know, if the time comes, we will not just close our pods like we are used to doing in cases of COVID, um, but, but we might need to uh, restrict our, our cap numbers um, based on what the shifts are in the city. The in-person learning this month is just an expansion of what has already been in place. Baltimore City Schools had about 200 students enrolled in in-person summer school. And this fall, they have about 1,000 students already doing that small group in-person learning, specifically those English learners and those special education students. So this is just an addition to what is already in place. Now they plan on having this take place next week and the week after, just slow increments of introducing those students back into the classroom. But of course, if families are not comfortable sending their children, they can continue with virtual learning. Live in Baltimore, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.